Okay, so welcome to Life Content, and today's video is going to be on happiness. How to be happy. You know, everybody wants to be happy in life, but people don't know how to go about and do it, and learn how to be happy. So, I'm just going to talk to you about the main topics about how to be happy, and so how somebody can cultivate happiness in their daily life. So, the, main, the, the first topic is gratitude. Really, you've got to make this, you've got to show, you've got to be grateful for the things that you have in life. So, for example, the sun, a bed to sleep in, a shelf, a, a roof over your head to go to sleep in, food, healthy water, clean water, all those sorts of things. You want to focus on the small things that you're grateful for, not always the large things like, um, a house, but more or less like, Rain, I'm so grateful for the rain and the sun to bring life, plant life and nature so I can experience um, nature and all the lovely things on this planet. So the birds, you know, you know I'm grateful for the birds and all those sorts of things really. So the next one is positive attitude. I'm just going to move the camera just because my arm's dying. Sorry about that. So the next one is challenge yourself. No, positive attitude. The thing is, you know, if, it's kind of obvious that if you're not positive and you're a negative sort of person, you're not going to be happy, you know? It's kind of obvious, and I really uh, recommend you see the good in things. Look, for example, if you're going out to work and doing a job that you don't particularly like, really think about the, the positive things about doing that job. For example, if you're out in nature doing a job like I am, horticultural horticulturist job, then you want to be thinking, oh, I'm so happy that I'm out in nature and get to breathe in clean air and not be stuffed indoors and you know see the sort of positive things you, know, you might be getting pissed down with rain but kind of think oh that's cleansing uh, you know it's it's pure it's purity and it's cleansing me you know of whatever you know just think of the positive things in what you're doing the next one is challenge yourself you know if you just live a mediocre life and just not do something spontaneous or challenging you're not going to have a very fun life, are you, really? So, challenge yourself. Do challenging things. Decide one day, oh, I'm going to go and do a 100 kilometer bike ride. And I don't care where I'm going, I'm just going to go outside and have fun. So the next one is, be selfless. Don't care so much about yourself. But care about other people, you know, do things for other people. That's always something that I've noticed is one of the most uplifting things and you just feel amazing by it. So be selfless, you know, don't care so much about yourself and care for others and you know, do do the things that you need to do for yourself, but also care about other other people, care about being more compassionate in life. And the next topic is you've got to smile, you know. If you're not smiling, then Smiling indicates happiness because if you smile it provides endorphins to your brain and you just feel happy straight away. So if I, if we both let's just do this now. So if we both smile now, breathe in, look up into the air. Just smile, breathe in. Do this widest smile that you can do. You just feel so happy just smiling. Just do that do that as if you do that every morning before as soon as you wake up man that's going to change your life uh, you know you'll be you'll, you'll wake up happy every morning you know if you just do that one simple thing of just smiling and saying yes you know i'm so happy that i can um live another day of my life and do the things that i uh, i have chosen to do and to help people so the next one is, you've got to train your mind to be happy. You've got to do these, you've got to do the above things that I've just told you every single day. You know, be grateful. 
Focus on positive attitude. Challenge yourself weekly or daily. Be selfless. Smile. You know, every morning. You know, those sorts of things. And if you... If you... If you do them every day, I swear to you, you'll be a happier person. The next one is, tell the truth. Don't lie to people. That, that, that does, that's soul crushing. It just doesn't, it, it, it provides a burden. You know, you have a, a, a burden over your, on your shoulders of, of, a, of a lie. You know, be truthful to somebody. Don't, don't lie. The next one is, don't keep secrets. You know, if you, it's the same as our lie. If you hide things, it's only another burden to hold on to. And the more you hold on to, the more it's going to put you down, you know. So, don't keep secrets. Like-minded friends. If you have like-minded friends, you're more likely to be more happy. If you have friends that you, you aren't making you know, aren't making you push yourself and you know that they don't care about you or they're not very reliable you know all the sorts of things to make that makes you a friend a good friend you know you want to find like-minded friends to be happy you don't want to do you don't want to change yourself for other people honey that's another thing really is you don't want to change yourself for other people for other people's needs be yourself be your eccentric self. So the next one is disidentification of the ego. You know? So the ego is something that we call ourselves. And if we disidentify from it, I'm sure you can learn about this topic elsewhere on one of my my other videos. So check it out. Um Meditation. Meditating every day for how many minutes you can do, five minutes, whatever it may be, will help you to uh, live a more content and peaceful life. Be around positive people, you know, that's a really helpful thing. If you're around negative people, of course you're not going to be happy. In. It's obvious, you know, you have to be around um, people, positive and happy people, to be helping happy because it just if you're around if you have an if you surround yourself in an environment of in an, an environment of unhappy and negative people it's only going to be soul crushing it's going to put you down and it's going to be hard for you to live a happy and content life so be around positive people as much as you can food not only not only does food provide energy for your yourself and satisfy an appetite food also can provide you with a, a mood if you eat um, meat or milk or anything that isn't provided by nature you're not gonna have very positive energy kind of and basically you are what you eat so if you eat something that's dead you're gonna feel dead you know if you eat something alive and natural you're gonna feel alive and natural and feel happy and that sort of thing the next one is be outside in nature don't don't just sit outside in nature i'm um, out sitting inside indoors because it's only gonna demoralize you and not you it just doesn't feel nice to just be stuck inside all the time and it's just not fun exercise you know, not only does exercise provide you with a healthy and fit body, exercise is one of the, one of the second most, well, it's a very important thing because if you're not, even it doesn't have to be a really really hardcore workout. It just needs to be an exercise, like maybe go for a walk or go for a light run, or go for a bike ride even. You know, just do something, move the pump the lymphatic lymphatic system and just pump move the body because if you're not moving then you're just going to have stagnant uh, metabolic waste in your body and things aren't going to be moved and pumped out of your body all the, all the bad debris and etc 
And the last, but and not the last, but least, not least, is water. Drink water. Drink about, let's say, as much water as you can drink every single day, because we're seventy. Our bodies are sev are made of seventy percent of water. And if we're not drinking water, then we're just gonna. If if you look up the benefits of water, you know there's loads. Is your it it provides you with energy. You know you're not so tired. Loads of different things, and we like I just said, we're seventy percent water. Our body, so we're kind of it's kind of obvious. We're not meant to, basically, just have, just eat and consume the things that are natural, you know, we're not designed to have fizzy drinks like Coca-Cola, for example, so don't drink it, you know, it's just obvious. I mean, if you're out with, like I say, you don't want to be mixed with people who aren't what you want to be, sort of thing, you want to be around people who who help you rather than put you put you in a position where you have to go for, out for a, for a drink of alcohol, for example. That's the sort of thing that you don't want happening. If maybe if you if you enjoy that, fine. One pint at most is okay, you know. But just f focus on being healthy and the above topics I just read to you. I said to you. So this is that's this is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, please like this video if you liked it, comment down below if you want if you, for, to give me some feedback on how, I, how the video was and see how, whether it was helpful to you, um, subscribe to my channel Life Content in the link below in the, in the description box and also I now have a new website slash blog, it's called www.lifecontent101 wordpress.com please check it out for today's video blog sort of thing the blog to this video in on my website in the description below as well so I hope you have a good day peace be with you and live a happy life see you guys later peace